Hi everybody. <laughs> well, today I'm on kind of a balloon kiss uh, binge, you might say. I just can't get enough watching too much Jilly Cube. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna do four sets and four different color combinations. I'm just thinking about them as I do this. I think I'm good. And yeah, that's all. That's all. I've got them all primed. I just use um, ceramic tiles. I put tape on the back. These are like 38 cents each or something. So pretty economical. And so here we go. Let's start with, I don't know, pink. Oh, these ones I want to try. I'm just debating whether I should put another color in with these, but I think I'm going to try and keep it simple for this first set. I'm going to do pink and gold. Pink and this gold. I'm not crazy about this gold, but it might be nice with pink. It's kind of a bronzy gold. Okay, I found my other gold, which I like better. I just hope I have enough in here. Oh, yeah, that's a better gold. brighter more yellowy but nice okay here goes ah. okay I guess I better hold it down I want like a fairly big thing okay ah, nope yeah we'll see might have to go back and do these again let's try this one Oh, that's nice. That's better. Yeah, that's what I was after. First one, I think I just didn't push hard enough. Pretty, pretty. Oh, look at that one. I think I'm going to do, I don't know if I can do this twice. It's not dark enough. I'm just going to, I'm going to try it. That's better. It's different. Uh, I still don't like that one. Yeah. I have to redo that one in a minute. But I'm going to move on. Oh, better wash my balloon off. Okay, next one I'm going to try is these colors that I always love together. So this blue, it's just, it's just straight blue, Desairs blue. All my paints are mixed with 50-50 um, glue and water. Ooh, purple. This just straight purple, Desairs, and then copper. This is, I think, Artist Loft copper. Kind of, kind of put it more in the middle. See what that does. Okay, here it goes. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. I don't want to waste that. Mm. Nothing I can do with that. Oh, I have to wipe it off. I hate that. I hate wiping off pretty things. I'm just going to do this. Here we go. Oh. Wow, that was a definite good choice for colors. Oh, perfect. I have my balloon. Okay, so the next one. Oh, these are amazing. Don't change. Everybody, stay still. 
Those ones are nice, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to do something with that one. Okay, next one I was gonna do is red and pink with a little bit of black in the middle. Whoa, red, whoa, red. I suppose you could do it in circles, but I'm not. Okay, so there's red and pink, not fluorescent pink, just regular pink. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of black in the middle. Almost make it look like a poppy type thing, just a little bit. Come on, a little bit, come on. Oh, this lid flew off on me yesterday. I better be careful. And now it won't come out at all. Maybe that's why it flew off yesterday. <laughs> oh, I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. Just a little bit of black in the middle. I might wash those off and try do another one like those. I love those. Oh my gosh. Okay, there it goes. Ooh, it's getting hard to get it. Oh yeah. pushing hard enough on my first ones. Oh. Okay, I'm going to do another one on this one. That's better. Whoa. Okay, wash off my balloon again. Okay, the last ones I want it to be kind of like poppies. So I want to use I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try. So let's do I don't know what to do first. I got yellow and purple. I don't know if that really matters. Give it a little shake. Yellow, no, purple. And yellow. I'm put a fair bit of yellow in. This is what I'm not sure about. I've got this kind of a burgundy color. I'm just going to put a little bit in the middle. Ooh, I don't know if this is... I'm tempted to put a tiny black dot in too. Yep, I'm going to, going to do a tiny black dot in the middle. Let's see if I can make like a... make it look like poppies. Not poppies, pansies. Pansies. That's what I'm after. Those are poppies. <laughs> okay, here goes. Don't press harder this time. All the way down. Oh, nice. Pretty. Oh, look at that. See, that's it. That's what the right colors. I don't know if they're going to show up. I might have to. Go back and do another balloon kiss on these once they've settled a bit. Oh, wow. Can I, I just want to do this every day for the rest of my life. Oh, gorgeous. So I need to do something with these. They're boring. I don't know what to do. I know. I'm going to go with... A little bit of, I'm just going to redo these. Ugh, I don't know if I can get away with this. I'm going to put some green in. Come on, green. These will be pretty wild. This might not work at all, but I don't like them. So green, what else would go with that? What else? Let's do some copper. I 
think I'll leave the pink that's in there. Maybe I better put a bit more pink in this one. Yeah, I'll put a bit more pink. What the heck? Okay, let's try these ones again. Oh, that's interesting. Different. That's interesting. Better. Yeah, I like them better. Maybe if I did... Ah, ooh. That's what, with these ones, I'm going to do a few kisses. ish that's nice those are nice they're nice like that that one's still lazy it's not coming up nice Oop, just took all the paint off that one okay Go again. Gonna do it again. I don't give up easy. Green. Oh. And some copper. Yeah, my balloon. Maxed out. Okay, here it goes. Oh, that's kind of better. <laughs> okay. Put a few more little ones on here. Oh, that's nice. That's better. Just some of the edges on here. I'm tempted to. Ah, oh, no, just leave them. No, I'm just going to leave them. I just, they're nice. I'm just not crazy about the edges. So I better torch this stuff a little bit. If I had a straw, I would blow some of those out a little bit. Blow the edges out. But I don't. I've got no straws. So let's just torch them a bit. Oh, those are kind of nice. Ooh. close-up check it out yeah those are definitely the right colors for those pansies with that little bit of that whoops that burgundy in there That's exactly right and then these ones try to move the camera not too fast so I don't make anybody seasick Pretty. And then I think the best ones are these ones. Look at that. See that edge there? I would have liked to kind of done something with that edge, but I'm going to leave it because I don't want to mess it up. Gorgeous. Those colors are always fabulous. And then these ones, they're okay. <laughs> Can't all be amazing. They're nice. They're nice. They're kind of look at that. That that fluorescent green is fluorescenting. Anyway, so there we go. So there's my balloon kiss fix for the day. And I'll let those dry for hmm, about ten days, and then we'll resin them up. They'll be beautiful. Okay, I can never just leave things alone. So I'm just going in 
And I'm just doing a little, oops, you can't see. There we go. I'm just doing a few little, I think that's nicer. Just a few little swoop de doos Yeah, I think it just, I think it's better. One more down here, bring some of that purple down. One more over here, that's nice. Need something else there. This one. Let's go like that. And like that. Oops, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Ooh, don't wreck it. Okay. And this one, I already did bit on those. On those. <laughs> Can't stop myself. Should I leave? Hi everybody, <laughs> it's about a week later and I thought I'd uh, just put a quick clip in on how I resin these. Um, I wait about a week for them to dry. You could wait longer, I wouldn't wait less. So let's see, let's do them, these ones so you can see. So I just pour, I've got my uh, resin, it's magic resin. Um, it's a, this is a tabletop resin. They have deep casting as well, but for for coasters, I just need the tabletop, and if you're not in a well-ventilated area, wear a respirator and wear gloves. So I just pour like about, you know, I don't know, a circle like that on, and then I just spread it around like you're buttering a slice of bread. Just spread it around, make sure you cover all the edges. So I spread around the top. And then just with my finger, I go around the edges to make sure the edges right to the corners are covered. You can kind of tell by the feel if you've got it covered. It's slippery when you've got it all covered. Like that. And like that. And then what I'll do once I've got this on, whoops, I don't want it to drift off there, so I'm going to scoot it back on. Um, <clears throat> When I've got this done, I just torch it. I'll just get through this really quickly. You don't want to, with doing a resin, you've got about half an hour working time, depending, you know, on the weather and everything. But uh, I've got a bunch of stuff to resin, so I'm going to be boogieing. I always hold it over another coaster so that the resin that drips goes on another coaster and you don't waste it. <laughs> and then, so these will set overnight. So tomorrow morning when I come in, they'll be all nice and cured. And then I will put the felt backs on. I'll probably put a little clip in to show you that too. So anyway, that's that stage. Like that, there we go, easy. Okay, once you've got the resin all spread, you're gonna go over them with your torch. I'll use a heat gun too. I always use my torch and just pop all the bubbles. You don't want to get closer than about three inches to the surface because you'll end up scorching your resin and that'll be a problem, hard to fix. The other thing, make sure you're on a level surface so that the resin doesn't all slide off to one side. And check it, you know, after a few minutes and if you see it all dripping off one side of the coaster, then you know you need to prop one side up a little bit, you know, to keep it Keep it pretty level. So I'll do this with the torch about every eh, every 10 or 15 minutes for about, about an hour. And that should get all the bubbles. And then, uh, yeah. And then tomorrow they'll be all nice and cured. I'll show you what I do to put the backing on. Okay, one more little clip just to show you how I completely finish them off. So. The resin is all done, it's beautiful, it turned out great next morning. So then you just want to take off the tape off the back and then just kind of grab an edge and get one. <laughs> Come on. There you go. Just 
peel it off and just be careful at the edges. Peel it kind of, how can I say, like along the edge. Be careful not to, I don't know if you can see, peel it this way to the side. Don't pull it off like this and that way because you're going to pull the res resin off the edges. You just want to kind of lift it to the edge and then pull it sideways just so that you don't wreck the resin edge. We'll do all that. Sometimes you might get a little spot where the resin is extra thick and you can just, just be careful. Actually like doing this it's kind of fun. <laughs> uh, sickle. Okay, and then that last little bit. Sometimes if you have, see like right there, it's kind of a thick drip and it's being a little bit stubborn. Sometimes you can just lift it off with your knife carefully. This is this is a really wobbly knife dollar store. Yeah, look at that. This one's terrible. Try to lock it. Just lift it so you can get your finger under it and again carefully kind of peel it sideways. So there you go. And then the last step is gluing it down, uh, putting a backing on it. I use felt, that's what I like to use. I just find it's really easy and it doesn't, you know, not too expensive. And I use, oh, I should have opened up all my things before I started. Hang on. Okay, I use Gorilla Glue. And I just put about that much on the back and I get an old paintbrush that I use over and over again for this purpose and just squidgy it around, get it right out to the edges. You don't need a ton of glue, but just make sure it's good and coated. I'm sure you could use lots of different kinds of glue. I just started with this Gorilla Glue and uh, I've never had one peel up or give me any grief, so you find something that works, just stick with it. There we go, just make sure you get it right to the edges and right to the corners. And then just place it down, leave about, you know, an eighth of an inch around the outside. So I usually do all of them, you know, I could put them all down. There we go. And then I Cut it out. And then I just go around and trim really close. Kind of on an angle like that, if you can see, and that way you're not going to scratch the resin. Let me get it nice and close so it doesn't show. That little corner. There you go. Sometimes I find the corners are a little sharp with the resin. So I just get a nail file and just file them down a little bit just so you don't have any really sharp edges. But there you go. There they are, all fixed up. Got the felt backings on and everything. Sorry about those weird lights. <laughs> My little light box. Yeah, so easy.